Ahoy everyone, my name be Pixelriffs, and today I be showing you how to build this one chunk pirate ship. No need to wait for the aquatic update to arrive, you can take to the seas right now with a hold full of treasure, full sails and a comfortable captain's cabin, all within a single chunk of 16 by 16 blocks. All hands to the ship! Start with a diagonal line of 9 dark oak planks, one block below the surface, and fill in the 8 spaces on both sides so you have a shape like this. Place a spruce slab one block from the end here, then build an X shape around it like so. Fill in this side of the X shape, and bring two more blocks out here and here so it's like an arrowhead without the point. Now zigzag around the outside edges of the underwater piece until you reach the end, and then repeat this on the opposite side and fill in the three blocks at this end here. Remove the water with a dry sponge or whatever filler blocks you've got handy, place a crafting table at the back end, and you might want to add torches now because these areas will be harder to reach later. Two blocks along the diagonal here, swap out the planks for a spruce stair and remove the block behind it, making a narrower section here at the back. Returning to the front of the ship, we're going to make another long X shape out of spruce wood, bring three more blocks out here and here, and then zigzag until we're about halfway along the ship. Starting the back section on the corner of the crafting table, we'll come out three blocks and zigzag until we meet the halfway point on the other side. Mirror this on the opposite side to complete this layer. Now grab some placeholder blocks, I'm using white wool, and fill in three, two and single blocks on top of the spruce wood like this. We're going to replace this with quartz stairs in a minute, but that will be easier to do once we've built the next layer. At the front of the boat, we'll swap these sticking out spruce planks for inverted stairs, then add a V-shape of dark oak with a gold block set in the front, and stairs on the sides here and here. Add spruce planks on top of all the placeholder blocks, except for one log there at the back, and then bring out the front in another corner shape with dark oak and a gold block. Once that's done on both sides, remove all your placeholders and we'll get ready to replace them with the quartz stairs I mentioned earlier. Starting at the back, build three inverted stairs like this, then alternate rotations so you end up with three openings along this diagonal section. You'll need to place two stairs here, rotate again to create a fourth opening, and then seal the stairs off at the front there. We'll repeat the same pattern on the opposite side. Now it should be possible to look through the gaps in these stairs and place dragon heads on the spruce blocks behind, so the snout of each dragon head looks like a cannon. You can only see the purple eyes and mouth from really specific angles, and they even look like they have handles when you look at them inside the ship. This is my favourite detail in the whole build. We'll start detailing the back of the ship with birch stairs, placing an inverted stair each side of this crafting table, then two upright stairs on top. We'll also add a rudder by dropping in four spruce planks and two fences between the stairs here. The birch stairs will then come out and around, and we'll come back to this when we've built more of the ship. On the inside, just above the crafting table, we'll add a V-shape with red wool. This will be the carpet in the captain's cabin. The rest of the floor here will be jungle slabs at the same height as the top of the wall, skipping over the dragon heads, and moving up half a block here and here. Leave a V-shaped hole where we'll add trapdoors and later on the main mast will go here, then, still using jungle slabs, step up half a block to build the rest of the main deck, leaving two lower slabs here in the corners where there aren't dragon heads. Returning to the birch stairs, we'll add one more sloping upwards here into three oak slabs. Do this on both sides, and then add two spruce slabs along the sides like so. Now in the corner above each dragon head, we'll add a trap door to make it look like each cannon has an open hatch. Count three blocks diagonally out from the gold block on the prow, and then take out this slab and we'll add a foremast here made of spruce wood, starting on the lower deck and building it 10 blocks tall. Now drop into the hole near the back and pillar up 18 blocks for the main mast. Going back to the birch stairs, we'll add an upright stair and an inverted stair next to it here and here. Building up the logs and spruce walls either side, we'll add two more inverted birch stairs like so, connect them in the middle behind the oak fences, then cut out these two spruce blocks and add in glass panes so the captain's cabin has some windows. Move to the front and grab some dark oak slabs and stairs, then place eight slabs leading to the front here. Step it up with a stair on each side, then place three slabs on top of the gold block, inverted stairs either side here, three slabs again in between those, and two slabs curling back towards the boat. 
Place some torches on the inside here if you need somewhere to add some light. The dark oak trim can continue around the rest of the boat, leaving a gap on one side for now. Moving back to work on the captain's cabin, we'll build up the logs one more block and inward, adding spruce planks on either side and a log on top of the fences, then spruce wood stairs and spruce logs lining the back. Two more gold blocks can sit here capping off these logs, and we'll drop in one more birch stair on each side to cover the log's end texture. Lay down some carpet in a W shape in the captain's cabin, adding some bookshelves above one exposed ender dragon head and an enchanting table above the other. Bring logs out on either side here and then add in a bed and a chest, or an ender chest if you think they have a more piratey feel. Add two short log pillars next to the shelves and the enchanting table, making sure there's a torch in here for light, and then add a pressure plate and spruce doors for a nice easy exit. We'll add jungle slabs above here for a low ceiling, stepping it down onto the cabin walls, and then add spruce stairs to seal this last gap. Add some oak fences on top of the spruce logs here for a rail at the back, and some nether brick fences coming up from the rudder. You might also need to add ladders so you can climb up to this top deck. Where we left a gap in the rail earlier, we'll add two fences and a plank for people to walk if there's any sign of mutiny. Some trapdoors and fences will help decorate the masts and prepare for us to add the sails. Add the fences level with the spruce stairs here, leave a gap for some torches, and then add four more fences spreading out from the mast. Add another three fences six blocks up from that, then we'll build a crow's nest using spruce slabs and trapdoors, making sure to leave a gap somewhere so that you can run ladders up the mast. On top of the mast we'll add a black and white flag, placing the wool blocks at an angle as though they're blowing towards the front of the ship in the wind. We'll do something similar with the foremast, adding fences and trapdoors to the top, and a slightly smaller flag. Now we're ready to add the mainsail, and I'll show you this from a first person perspective. Start with three grey wool blocks directly below the fences, come out one block with a white and two grey on each side. Drop another grey under the middle of each of these, then come out with three more white blocks in the middle, and two greys either side. The next row down is four greys and a white in the centre, two more greys, a white and two greys on either side, a white and three greys for the row below that, Then start to curve the next row back towards the mast, like so. Finish off with a row of grey, and connect it to the fences branching out from the mast. Fill in these gaps towards the bottom, and that's the best try at a skull and crossbones that you'll get on this sort of scale. We'll try something similar, but smaller, for the foremast. While you're watching this, I'll remind you that these tutorials wouldn't be possible without the support I receive on Patreon. You can head to patreon.com slash pixelriffs to donate and support future videos. Of course, Minecraft has another way you can fly the skull and bones on your ship. You can make the iconic pirate flag using a black banner, a wither skull and some bone meal, then just copy it to your other black banners in a crafting table until you have as many as you need. These can be hung in the captain's cabin, on the mast, or even down in the cargo hold. Speaking of the cargo hold, it needs a bit more detail, so let's hop down there and reorient these trap doors, adding ladders so you have a way back up the mast to the main deck. The ceiling is too low to reach this area here in the back, so this could be the brig, with a couple of skulls, maybe a chest or two, and some iron bars to imprison mutinous crewmates. Naturally, you'll want a few chests down here to store some treasure, and there are other things you could use as crates, such as shulker boxes, crafting tables, pistons decorated with item frames, or even a jungle log with a pressure plate on top imitating a sealed barrel of grog. Last of all, if you're building this in a plot world, it'd be nice to add some more decorations, like a pier nearby for taking on crew and cargo, some nearby rock formations overgrown with moss and hiding some gold ore, and of course, a whole bunch of parrots. Thanks for watching this one chunk tutorial which was made possible with support from my awesome community of patrons. You can head to patreon.com slash pixelriffs to donate and get rewards, including membership to my patrons only Minecraft server. A structure file for this build can be downloaded from the links in the description, along with all the other builds in this series so far. 
Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss future tutorials. My name has been Pixorifs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.